Hi, as soon as I've come outside, of course, the wind has picked up, so I hope this comes through okay on the mic. If not, I'll have to shoot it again. I wanted to talk about stage fright in today's vlog. It's something that I've struggled with at times. I had a particularly bad dose of it a few years ago, and it wasn't quite, I didn't want to go on stage. It was more certain people in the audience their opinions would matter more to me than everyone else's. There's a great, um, I'll share the image now if I get in trouble, it's there. But that's kind of how it felt. There could be 99 people really enjoying my gig, but the one person who was pulling a face or yakking during a solo, or I knew as a musician or was somebody I was trying to impress, if they were in, my whole gig would rest on their reaction and I realised how bad that was and how negative that was getting. I wrote a blog, as in a real blog post, to my own self ten years ago. Um, I don't think if it's still on the web, if it is I'll link to it on my website. I kind of wanted to sort of say, and it's probably everybody goes through this from my sort of friends, is that you wish you kind of had the self-confidence or the uh, outside self-confidence you had in your early twenties match with the skill level and self-awareness you have in your 30s and then from when I went to other people, 40s, 50s, etc. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to share with you today some books that have really helped me. And the main book I wanted to share with you, I can't find. And I'm already on my eighth copy of this book because it's been so good. I've lent it to so many people and never got it back. It's called The Inner Game of Music by a guy called Barry Green. And I don't have the book, but I have this book, which is the kind of follow-up to it. And I'll post links to both, I've got all the books that I'm referring to today. Um, this is called The Mastery of Music, The Keys to Musical Excellence. We'll buy in again with music first. Very quick synopsis of the book. You have an inner game and an outer game. Uh, original version of inner game was written about tennis and it was like you have the things you can control, which are the internal things, and you have the exterior things. So on a gig, you can control how you play. You can't control how the piano player plays. You can't control if somebody in the audience drops their drink on the floor. These are all exterior things you can't control, so there's no point trying to worry about them. But you can control how you deal with it. So, in a game of music is definitely good. Um, a similar vein, all jazz musicians need to read this. Effortless Mastery by Kenny Werner. Um, really helpful meditation CD behind it. Highly, highly recommend that after you've read In A Game of Music. It's a bit kind of more off the wall than In A Game, but still worth a read. Um, this book is life changing. It came, made me realise all the things I did in my teens that I thought were wrong were actually pretty good. Victor Warns the Music Lessons, of course, on Cambridge Saxophone about this book. Um, this book was also pretty good Secrets of Performing Confidence. Perfor yeah. Um, and it talks about actors, musicians, performers, public speakers. You basically realise all the things that you've kind of struggled with, everyone else has, most of the things. And then, um, more for musicians, this was pretty good, The Savvy Musician. And you'll see there's a lot of highlighted notes and things on there that I've done. Um, so, yeah, in a game, I wish I could find a copy, as I say, I've spent the last 15 minutes searching my bookshelves. I've probably lent it to someone, and that will say, well, I'll be on to my ninth copy now. Number one, keep practicing. And number two, read the books. Number three, remember a gem from Chris Potter. You're playing the saxophone, it's not hot, or you're guitar, clarinet, piano, singing. It's not heart surgery, brain surgery. If you get it wrong, no one dies. And sometimes we need a bit of perspective. It's a great privilege to make music, but, you know, have fun. As I said in that other blog where I was taking my photog photograph, sorry, um, it's important we have fun doing this. and. It's called playing music. Yeah, have some fun playing. Signing off for today, have a great day.